Hey guys, uh, welcome back. It's been quite a while since I made a video. Um, the fact is I've just been rather busy uh, doing other things, work and on the farm. But uh, I thought I'd make an update or a, another quick tip video. Uh, might cover making money with the biodigester. More so the liquid gold that comes out of it. Uh, the gas and stuff is fine for home use but I've not been using much of it of late uh, for a couple of reasons. The gas tanks I've got were on higher, the 45 kilos, and they're due to go soon. Um, you know, and I find that when you don't need to produce gas to live, uh, it can become quite a chore. I've been doing this for over a year now, and I've slowed down on it. Uh, even feeding the digester has become a bit slow because I've changed the line of work I do, so I don't have access to food scraps a lot more. So mostly it's just uh, stuff from home now, and it's not much. We don't, we don't really waste much. So I feed what we can into it, like leftover dishwashing stuff. Uh, as long as you make sure there's no any bacterial stuff, like dishwashing liquid, because uh, our stuff goes into the dishwasher anyway, so I rinse it, use that water, and then whack the dishes in the dishwasher and the other stuff goes into the digester. Um, but yeah, I'll let you uh, know that I've made quite a bit of money out of this, uh, the liquid fertiliser that comes out. I think um, last spring, so about six months ago-ish, I put up an ad on the Facebook market page uh, describing homemade fertiliser and how I come about it, how I make it, and I got inbox after inbox after inbox of local gardeners. I even had a few people that were inquiring about thousands of litres at a time. So a lot of farmers around here. And I said, you know, I, I don't have that capability, um, but small gardeners I can. So I just collect it in drums, like 20 litre, 10 litre, uh, even two litre, three litre milk cartons. Um, make sure if you're doing milk cartons to take the label off. Had a few people message me about that, having small kids and that. But I fixed that issue. Um, so yeah, I've got regular customers now. I've only posted up once. That was six months ago. And I'm still getting inquiries about it. So I only sell. It's concentrate, so two dollars a liter. But I've made close to five hundred dollars, and that's got that tank up and running from that money. So there's definitely money to be made. And because I don't really come down here anymore, it's it's a bit dirty and messy. Um, makeshift, having power leads run to the power board over there and you know, rubbish fucking floating around. Uh, you can see a bit of overflow from the tanks. But this is liquid gold. This is what people want and will buy. So that's actually going to a lady uh, sometime this week, 20 litres, so she'll pay $40 for that. Uh, these I'll use myself. I've set up irrigation in my farm. You can see down there I've got fruit trees and I've just made 250 square meters of grow bed. Plus there's a line of viburnum against that back fence and there's some hydrangeas down there. So I've got all drip line irrigation and then my tanks are up near the house. And uh, I just run that through my pump and it's the drip line so everything fertilizes itself. So if you don't use it for yourself because I know this is a byproduct and if you just mostly want the gas you know sell it off make some money you just got to market to the right people uh, be honest with them how you do it say it's green compost 100% bloody organic uh, sell it and you know said make some money it's gold I also suppose while I'm down here I'll address an issue that I had I came down one day and I wasn't getting any gas out. Uh, so I knew that it was still operational, it was still warm, I was still feeding it, but there was no gas coming out of here and into uh, the airlock and going into the bag, of course. So what I did is I thought, well, last time this happened, there was an air leak. And this, this is a rather old tank that had been sitting in the sun for some time. And all these lines here, potential cracks. So I put in some 
natural earth soapy water and I found some bubbling out here this is where some cracks out so I just whacked some silicon on that uh, some glue and then some silicon because you can see I troubleshooted everything I bloody siliconed everything again before I found the leak I found it so another tip if you haven't got gas and you know all your bacteria is fine your temperature's fine it's probably a leak somewhere that's handy tip all right to find out the hard way oh there you go only a quick one um i know a lot of you guys in the northern hemisphere be in spring coming into it so take that tip on board if you don't use that byproduct the liquid byproduct try and sell it facebook marketplace your local network of gardeners uh it's proven successful for me but now i'm going to use it myself because it's farm's expanding uh so yeah have a good one i'll try and think of some more videos to make uh but otherwise till then catch up